Hi there, Bon Crowder with Math4.com here talking about place value. This is a request from a reader that I met at Teacher Heaven this past Saturday and I wanted to make sure that, um, that Glenda got some information on place value and I'm going to use the math rack that um, was sent to me by MathRack.com, those wonderful people over there. They have these math racks in all different denominations. So go check them out. I'm looking at the place value for ones and tens right now. And so I've created these place value cards. So this is the, the 10 place value and I have some other ones values that I'm, I'm gonna use. So when you, when you start with the tens with the math rack, I'm using a math rack 20 by the way, you can either do two sets like this to visualize the 10 or you can use the top row. And these can be turned, you know, if, if a child wants to twist them and to see, you know, the ones place and the tens place and so on, they can do that as well. So either way they look at it, if we start here and we say, okay, we want 10 in the, uh, one set of 10 and then three singles, they can do that or they can represent it this way. So there's the 10 with the three singles or the 10 with the three singles down here. So any of those are acceptable. The point is to get the child to understand that this is the tens place and this little cover up allows them to see, okay, so there's three more and then we place it right there. Likewise, if we did seven more, they could use that 10 and then five more and two for the seven. They could use these five and these two for the seven. Or if they wanted to do the top, this is where maybe the, using the top for the 10 would be more effective and then seven for the bottom. So either way, actually, I just did it and ended up with the same thing, didn't I? <laughs> so either way, it works. And then you can show that this is the sevens place. That's the sevens piece there, those. And then this is the one set of the reds. So that's a way to encourage and support and um, keep kids sort of up on the ones place and tens place for place value. I also created this 100, which I don't even know if this is fitting. I might be squishing into my face over there. So if you want to do that, then you would need another another math rack. Cram that one in here and um, go crazy with that. Mathrack.com also sells um, the Math Rack 100. So you could actually do lots of different rows and you can get up to million, couple million if you're doing it that way. So anyway, this is Bon Crowder with math4.com talking about place value and reminding you that math is not a four letter word.